So good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today I will present uh, uh, the projects in my lab uh, about using single cell analysis to reveal a uh, tumor microenvironment. Uh, actually, we are working on two types of cancer, uh, colorectal cancer and uh, blood cancer. So a uh, tumor microenvironment uh, influences both uh, tumor progress and the response to immunotherapy. So these pictures shows uh, the hot, altered, and cold tumor. Uh, the bronze dense CD3 uh, T cells, and uh, I hope you could uh, appreciate that they, can, they have different T cell infiltration status. So the tumor microenvironment is uh, uh, very heterogeneous, and uh, to understand the heterogeneity is uh, important. Of course, the traditional bulk analysis cannot uh, reflect the uh, complexity of the tumor uh, microenvironment because one could only see the average the results. Uh, and uh, so the single cell uh, analysis is uh, required. And also single cell analysis, it can pro uh, provide more information, especially on chromatin opening and closing status. It can help to infer uh, distal uh, regulatory elements uh, comparing to uh, single cell rna -seq. So for uh, colorectal cancer, we uh, performed both uh, single cell rna -seq and single cell uh, atac -seq. We generated uh, more than uh, 30,000 uh, total uh, colorectal uh, cancer cells, uh, which are sampled from adjacent normal precancerous and primary tumor tissues from 12 uh, treatment naive patients. We also performed the whole exome sequencing on each sample and subgroup the patients into tumor uh, mutation burden high and tumor mutation burden low groups. Tumor mutation burden high is positively related with uh, better immunotherapy response. Uh, and uh, uh, by uh, clustering the cells, we found a very high proportion of immune cells uh, contain the major uh, immune cell types, including T cell, B cell, myeloid cell, and uh, NK cell, and MET cell. Uh, we also uh, uh, retrieve some uh, non-immune cells, including IPCD and uh, fibroblast. And for our uh, single cell epigenetic, we can uh, uh, we, we here is the, the example of the, the single cell ataxic data, and we can see that the immune cell can uh, show an open chromatin on, uh, on CD45 low side, and the non immune cell they show open chromatin on the, uh, for example, EPICOM uh, low side, but not the CD5 uh, low side. So we first reclassed the, the T cells, and we identified the 20 uh, subpopulations. And uh, for, uh, for the uh, uh, regulatory T cells, we found two group of uh, CD, uh, T cells with or without the expression of uh, uh, CT, uh, CTLA4. And, uh, uh, and we also find that this uh, CTLA4 uh, positive uh, Treg cells, they are uh, usually enriched in the uh, tumors, but the CTLA4 negative uh, Treg cells, they are enriched in adjacent uh, 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 and precancerous tissue. So, uh, Next, the using the single cell ataxic data, we found the exhausted T cell have less uh, uh, opening chromatin in TCF, uh, TCF7 low side. And we also can use this single cell ataxic data to infer the transcription factors in both the exhausted and the, uh, naive T cells. And uh, we then compared the tumor mutation burden low and high samples. So we found several uh, tumor mutation uh, burden related uh, cytokines. For example, XCL13 and XCL2, and we validated uh, uh, XCL2 using, uh, using I2C. Uh, tumor mutation burden has been reported to predict response to uh, immune checkpoint inhibitors in colorectal cancer. So we think that perhaps this kind of cytokine may play some function in tumor mutation burden related uh, uh, immunotherapy, uh, immune response. We then analyzed the, the myeloid cell and we focused on the uh, 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 tumor associated macrophages time. Uh, we found one uh, group SPP1 time and uh, we found that this kind of time has a, 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 a mixed phenotype. It has both a pro inflammatory and uh, anti inflammatory function. And uh, for, the, for its biological function, we find that this SPP1 time, it can be enriched antigen processing and presentation pathways. So consistent with its antigen processing uh, function, we find that SPP1 time, uh, they show uh, 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 open chromatin on uh, MHC2 uh, gene low side. Uh, we then asked the cell cell uh, interactions between non immune and immune cells, and we find that comparing to the adjacent uh, region uh, tissues, we, 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 we find the strictly expression of uh, non immune and immune uh, cell communications. 
due to the time, I don't go to the uh, detail of these uh, interactions, but uh, uh, this suggests that uh, uh, the, 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 the crosstalk between non-immune and immune cells can uh, largely affect the, the, the immune microenvironment in the colorectal cancer. So uh, another cancer type we are working on is the bladder cancer, which is a urinary system cancer. It's uh, um, it, it's 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 uh, mortality is not that high comparing to with other cancers, but this kind of uh, cancer, the patients suffered a lot due to a high relapse rate, which means that uh, after the the treatment, blood cancer is very easy to to get uh, get get back get relapse. So we uh, we stratified the blood cancer uh, uh, patients based on the image and uh, the pathological uh, examination into low risk, high risk, and relapse. Uh, 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 groups. So, uh, so then we generated uh, uh, more than 30,000 uh, single cells using single cell RNA sequencing and the single cell ataxic from uh, 12 uh, blood cancer patients. Uh, and our aim is uh, to comparing the, the, the relapse and the high risk and the low, low risk uh, uh, blood cancer subtypes to identify relapse associated cell subpopulations. And uh, here is the um, the, the uh, clustering of of the cells, and we could see that uh, uh, as a, a, a solid uh, tissue with a lot of muscle, the the immune cell uh, infiltration in this kind of uh, cancer is uh, not that high comparing to colorectal cancer. And uh, our uh, single cell ataxic uh, comparing to the single cell ataxic, we can uh, retrieve uh, the the uh, equivalent uh, uh, cell types. And the first, we look at the, the tissue distribution of immune cells in, in blood cancer, and we observed that there is uh, increased uh, or there is enriched T cells in a uh, relapsed uh, uh, blood cancer comparing to the uh, low risk or the healthy tissue. But in the healthy tissue, we see uh, the macrophages are predominantly uh, enriched. Uh, for T cells, if we observed that there is an increased expression of some exhausting marker like CTLA4 in CD8 T cells, especially in this uh, relapse and high risk uh, blood cancer. Uh, this suggests that some clinical relevance, for example, uh, using the, the, the immune checkpoint inhibitor for the treatment of these blood cancer subtypes. And for the macrophages, we can see uh, this uh, SPP1 uh, positive and SPP1 negative. Uh, uh, macrophages and SPP1 positive macrophages, they are enriched in the high risk and uh, uh, relapsed uh, uh, blood cancer comparing with uh, a healthy tissue. So this is similar to our identification of SPP1 macrophages in colorectal cancer. So next, uh, we analyzed the, the non-immune cell, which is the large majority of the cells in our data set. And we found uh, two clusters uh, they are highly expressed uh, CD44 and uh, ALDH1A3, which are the markers of uh, blood cancer stem cell. And then we reclass these uh, blood cancer cells and we can get uh, uh, nine uh, uh, different uh, uh, subgroups. So this suggests that uh, very uh, surprisingly, the cancer stem cells, they are, not uh, they are not homogeneous. Actually, it can be further divided. And by comparing with uh, the relapse with uh, low or high uh, risk blood cancer type, we found some groups that are enriched in the uh, relapsed uh, uh, blood cancer. So using cynic uh, 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 analysis to infer the transcription factors, we found the EZH2, which we uh, further uh, uh, focus on this uh, gene. EZH2 is a histone methyltransferase, and, and it can catalyze IG3 k 27 uh, trimethylation, and thereby uh, it can suppress the target gene expression. And the uh, increase of ECH2 expression is, uh, has been reported in uh, blood cancer. So we knocked down uh, ECH2 in uh, blood cancer cell line, and we found that upon uh, ECH2 knocked uh, uh, knock down, we can see the compromised or decreased uh, cell uh, colony uh, formation and, uh, and, and the cell uh, migration ability. And also a knockdown of ECH2 uh, results in a smaller uh, tumor in, 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 in xenograft mouse model. And also a uh, depletion of uh, ECH2 results in globally uh, decrease of H3 K20 trimethylation uh, marker with, uh, peaks, which is the marker for uh, gene repressing. And we see the, uh, uh, on, on, on contrast, we see the increase the uh, uh, signal of K27 acetylation and open chromatin, which are the marker for the gene activation. 
and by uh, in sequencing, we see that upon uh, EZH2 uh, knockout, we see some genes related with uh, cancer uh, stem leads are downregulated, and also a gene called NCAM1 is highly uh, or significantly increased. So also on the gene body and the, on the, on the promoter and the gene body of uh, NCAM1, we see the uh, gradually uh, loss of H3K27 translation marker. So NCAM1 is a, a, a cell adhesion molecule and can promote cell adhesion. So we uh, hypothesis that uh, ETH2 can directly regulate this gene and promote blood cancer relapse through uh, uh, in, in cancer stem cells. So uh, finally, I would like to uh, thank our colleagues and uh, the two postdocs who work on this uh, project and also the findings that uh, supports us. And thank you uh, for your uh, listening and I'm happy to take uh, questions. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ryan. So maybe uh, you can take a question from panel or audience. So this checked it, um, those uh, epigenetic or chromatin changes in the, I'm sorry, I feel it, I can take a question from Jamin. Is the effect of EJ2 on TAM? Uh, I mean, uh, sorry, EJ2 on what? Effect of EJ2 on TAM. Is there any effect? Ah, I mean, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, on the immune cells. Uh, actually, no, we didn't check. Uh, yeah, we focused on this because when we uh, analyze the uh, non immune cells, we found it uh, pop out. Yeah, but we didn't check the expression uh, on, on immune cells. But uh, yeah, maybe it's a good idea to, to check the expression of this thing in, in immune cells. Yeah. So, do you also check the, uh, any other, I mean, MH2 or some? the chromatin regulation in the other type of cells, just to see the uh, say PPM, SPPM positive cells or the same changes in the other cells? Uh, not in other cell types, but actually in this uh, cancer uh, 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 stem cell subpopulation, we also see, I, I, didn't, uh, I think we, I have it here, uh, we see uh, KDM5B. Uh, uh, which is a uh, uh, histone demethylase, uh, which can demethylase uh, 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 H3K4 uh, try and uh, and 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 uh, uh, yeah and um, uh, and uh, methylation. Uh, yeah, we, we we also see the, this uh, uh, chromatin uh, modifiers. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. It's time is up, so maybe it, uh, we're gonna close the session. Thank you very much for your all the speakers okay. and audience. Yeah. We're yeah. gonna have a uh, 15 minute break uh, for the next keynote sessions. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you see you in the next time the, in the, the face face. Right. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.